Okay, so this is going to be a really quick review on an awesome water bottle. Uh, excellent item to, you know, EDC, carry every day, carry with your lunch and your backpack, keep in your car, bug out bag, hunting, hiking, anytime you're outside. This is an excellent bottle for that. For a few reasons that I'll get to. First off, it's stainless steel. Um, which means increased durability over plastics. Number two, especially in high heat, um, the sun beating down on a lot of plastic water bottles, it can leach certain chemicals into the water. Um, hasn't been proven if they're good or bad for you, but you know you might as well minimize that risk and use you know something that doesn't do that to begin with. Second off, they, they're just kind of stylish. Now, if you read online, especially, you know, bushcrafters, in quotes, are notorious for this, but um, a lot of people, they don't like this, this exact bottle in the Clean Canteen line. They love the 40-ouncer, um, the wide mouth 40-ounce. That's probably Clean Canteen's most popular model uh, for a few reasons. First off, um... If we're talking about outdoor people, backpackers, bushcrafters, campers, whatever. Um, they like the fact that it's roughly the same dimensions as your uh, very common Nalgene bottle. Which means it can use the same bottle holders, it can use the same nesting cups. Um, I believe they might have the same threads. Um, and... The one that kind of peeves me, the reason that they like the 40 ounce and not this one, is almost all water purification tablets, Potable Aqua, Aquamira, Katahdin, MSR, um, there's quite a few out there. Uh, they're designed to work to clean your water in one quart or one liter increments. So you might put one or two tablets in exactly one quart or one liter. Now, the reason a lot of people don't like this size is because of its capacity, 27 ounces. And that scares them off. They're like, you know, I can't cut, you know, one ninth or a tenth of the pill off, you know, to make the pill slightly weaker, whatever. Um, so what they do instead is they buy the 40 ounce clean canteen and they estimate. Um, they <laughs> estimate not filling it all the way up. They only fill it roughly 8 ounces less than full capacity. The problem is the clean canteen 40 ounce holds actually about 45 fluid ounces. So going from 32 ounces to 45, that's what? 13 ounces um, of wasted space that you're carrying around. Now, I just want to show you, you know, guys, something that's kind of unique about this clean canteen. Before getting into dimensions and everything, I want to explain why I like this one. Uh, first off, it's a more, uh, it's a slimmer design. It's roughly half inch less in diameter, so it's easier to grab. Uh, number two, it fits in car cup holders. It fits in bike, water bottle holders. Um, this is a very common size. It's about the size of like a, a Rockstar Energy or a Monster Energy can. Um, about the same diameter as like a pop can, a beer can, whatever. Um, and the reason a lot of people don't like this one is they're like, well, 27 ounces, like I was stating before. Well, contrary to a lot of belief, um, this holds more than 27 ounces. And just to prove it, this is an Nalgene bottle. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but I have it filled to 32 ounces. Now, if you fill this water bottle all the way up, it holds about 38 ounces. Um, 38 to 39 ounces all the way full. 32 ounces is right there. 
this clean canteen is marketed at 27 ounces. Uh, I, before this bottle, I bought a few of the 40 ounces, and I found out that they hold about five ounces over their stated capacity. So I want I bought a few of these to see if that holds true for all their models. So as you can see, it's empty. So as you can see, um, this uh, Nalgene bottle is holding 32 ounces of water right now. Um, a lot of people think it's 32 ounces, it holds 32. All the way full, it actually holds about 38 to 39 ounces. So, but right now this has 32 ounces, and we are going to transfer the water from this bottle to this bottle. So if you can see on camera, um, that's about as full as you want to go with this. And there's maybe two ounces of water left in this Nalgene bottle. Which roughly means this holds about 30 ounces, 30, 31 ounces. So using those water purification tablets, would you rather be a few ounces under you know, or would you want to be eight ounces over? A lot of people, they think it's like the end of the world if it's not exactly 32 ounces. If it's over that, you run the risk of the chemicals not fully killing the bad things in the water. If it's slightly under, based on experience, you know, on usage and everything, it's not going to make you sick. Um, a lot... In a lot of cities, the amount of chlorine, um, particles per million, that is contained in the water is a lot more than, say, your well, potable aqua's iodine, but your chlorine type tablets. A lot of city water contains more <laughs> chlorine than a lot of those, uh, a lot of those pills. So pretty much by adding them, you're just turning you know, wilderness water into city water, chlorinated water. So, you know, would you rather be half a cup over and make it slightly diluted, or would you be want a few ounces less? So this is just a quick kind of test explanation on why I like this bottle. Real quick, I'll run over the dimensions. Um, it is, without the cap, about nine and a quarter inches or 23, about 23 and a half centimeters. The opening is uh, about two inches, maybe a hair under, inch and seven eighths. The uh, diameter I know is three inches, but the circumference is about nine and a quarter, which translates. The height with the cap oh and real quick if you saw some of the water coming out that's another reason why I like the uh, um, this style over the wide mouth you still get a pretty wide opening but after you sterilize that water by some of that treated water getting up on the threads of the bottle, it's sterilizing the whole bottle. If that makes any sense. So, the height is about 10 and 3 quarters. And the weight of the bottle, uh, full up, I kind of find it silly that people, you know, weigh the water bottles empty because you're not going to carry an empty water bottle, but this is roughly a liter of water, maybe a little bit under. It weighs 973, 976 grams, or two pounds, 2.4 ounces. So there you have it. That's why 
I like the Clean Canteen 27 ounce. I have nothing against the Clean Canteen 40 ounce, you know, the wide mouth ones. They even make some bigger ones, some smaller ones. I find this the most convenient, the most conducive to pack. Um, the bottle of Clean Canteen, I find myself using this one the most. The 40 ounce, like I said, I have nothing against it. It just feels like you're holding like a two liter of pop. Uh, when you're drinking out of it, it's just, you know, really bulky, kind of cumbersome. It doesn't fit in car cup holders. You can't take it, you can't put it in bike bottle holders. Um, I just like this size a lot more. And instead of just carrying one 40 ouncer, I carry two of these. One on each um, side of my backpack waist belt. And what that does is balances the load out. In the future, I'm going to do a video on water bottles versus uh, water bladders, the pros and cons of each. So stay tuned for that. I'll also talk about other options like your platypus or vapor kind of collapsible water bottles, how they are kind of an intermediate between full-on water bottles and water bladders, and why I like those over water bladders. Um, so stick around for that. If you like this video, like our content, like the stuff we talk about, um, make sure to leave a big thumbs up below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, you know, leave a comment. And until next time, we'll see you out there.